I know you all recently opened up a esports center. Congratulations on that. Can you tell yeah, us more that's... about the role that IT played <laughs> in that development? Well, I never thought in a million years that I would be um, opening up an esports arena at a university. Honestly, five years ago, really didn't do much with gaming. I played Madden on my Xbox with my daughter and my son. But one day I was I turned on the TV and ESPN was on and they have this huge stage lights and computers. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. Um, and it was the esports tournament. So um, uh, it was a funny story is the director of campus planning um, who designed spaces here at the campus called me one afternoon and said, hey, I've got this space it's 35 by 35 do you want it and mm -hmm. i said well what the what am i going to do in in there you know it was in the athletic building kind of away from everybody so i remember some of my employees at a meeting talking about esports and i said let's go to lunch so i i took the director to lunch and um i said i let's sit down let's plan something so we grabbed a napkin and he goes, well, let's just pull out your phone and we'll bring up some other universities and see what they're doing. And I said, nah, I said, let's just design something. I know you need, you know, 10 spaces you need, you know, but let's be different. Let's get ready for the future. So we built a 10 station desk with um, playing machines. And then I said, this is kind of dull. It's boring. Let's put in a championship zone. So we have a, yeah. So I'm like the 10 players, top three players. We put a couch in there. We put a, a big um, screen 4K projector and that would be the top three. We'll sit there with, you know, chairs vibrating, leather, la lazy boys and let them play the championship in this big space, right. still within the arena. Well, to find out gamers really don't like playing on any monitors or displays larger than 24 inches they're used to the pixels it messes ah. with their eyes so so <laughs> very particular <laughs> um, so that we we adjusted a little bit and then a little bit longer into the conversation i said you know what i never played with vr let's put a vr we had a vr system i said let's put this space over in the corner this will be our vr station and we could do vr gaming just for fun so when we open up the sports arena students can just come in they don't have to be you know gamers they can come in and check out new technology and new games so okay. it kind of started out with those three sections and it grew to you know, we're in two different divisions, the ECC and the newer division. I, I We just uh, became members of it, so I don't know exactly what that is. Um, <laughs> my, I have a manager here who is the coach. Um, okay. He's a full-time employee of mine, and then he's a part-time coach. Um, he wow. does all the recruiting. Um, but this all happened around COVID as well. So a lot of our uh, recruitment and everything was remote, and our gaming was remote. The, space never really got utilized and we never really were able to have that true opening. So just recently, about a month and a half ago, we had our grand opening. Our main sponsor, Spectrum Enterprise, who sponsors the esports e arena, they did the ribbon cutting with the president. Uh, we had about 40 individuals, government, the news. Yeah, um, I saw you on the news. <laughs> oh, it, it just, yeah. uh, it it has blown up and I'm getting calls every day like can you help us like we saw you guys on the news help us we want to do this not just from higher ed but K through 12 as well yeah. um so it's really bloomed um and I think having that grand opening really put the focus on what we've done um and if you've seen the place um you know we designed a chip a computer chip in the middle that was going to be our our symbol for the room not knowing that this designer built it looks like an octopus in the center, um, LED lighting with arms coming down all four walls. It's just really a cool space to to walk into. And, and it's open from 10 to 10 for um, everyone, all the students, faculty, and staff. Yeah, I'm jealous that my college didn't have an eSports arena. <laughs> I'm here and playing ours. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You'll pass as a student. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. But yeah, I, I really love that story. And it goes to show like how you and your team were so future focused and also working with the gamers to see, okay, what do you want? What what screens are you used to playing on? What technology yeah. do you need? All that factors into so many other IT and cybersecurity related projects. 
But as you mentioned, other schools are reaching out to you and also other organizations asking how can they duplicate what you all have done at Duville. As far as from a cybersecurity standpoint or in, in IT technology, like what were some considerations at a high level that someone who wants to do it should consider? Arena? I would say be ready for it. You know, do the have those conversations. But one thing you really want, we don't have, we have the, the esports um, program. Uh, and the arena. We don't have the curriculum to go with that, so recruiting is restricted. So okay. I would, um, we have a, a entry-level technology um, um, class. Um, we're currently building on that to create the curriculum um, okay. where we can start having better recruiting efforts. Um, so I would say, you know, segregate your, net, your network. Esports is yeah. a lot cloud and, you know, every Buddy and their brother are coming in and second that network would help secure your data uh, okay. because you're logging in with your credentials. The students are going in there, logging in with their credentials, maybe doing some work on one of the machines. So we take that very seriously. If you receive value from this episode, I invite you to subscribe and like so that you're the first to know when we release new episodes. Also check out cmmcproof.com to learn more about the arsenal of resources that we provide to equip you to conquer CMMC. We'll see you next time.